today's video I'm here with Melody and we're coming back at you with another sewing tutorial so for today's video Melody and I are gonna be showing you how to make this really adorable matching set for your American Girl doll that features a little bustier crop top and also this little paper bag skirt both these pieces are super simple to make and basically take no time at all I think I made that skirt without filming I it would probably only take me like 20 minutes and this top probably about half an hour without filming in between so yeah, this is a great project if you just want to do some afternoon sewing and end up with a really cute outfit for your doll. So let's go ahead and get started. To make this matching set, I'm using the same white floral cotton broadcloth I used in my ruffles shorts tutorial. And for the lining of the shirt, I'm just using a plain white broadcloth. For the shirt, I'm using this Liberty Jane peplum top pattern, which will be linked in the description box down below. I used the, only the bodice pattern pieces and I assembled it with the instructions provided, except I did a regular hem on the bottom and I hemmed both sides of the back of the shirt instead of using velcro. To make the bow, I sewed two pieces of fabric right sides together, then flipped them right sides out and closed the gap. I made a small tube out of the same fabric and to create the bow shape, I gathered the large rectangle and placed the tube around it and sewed this in place with a needle and thread to create the bow. Pin one side of the bow onto the shirt and then decide where you want the closure to go by trying it onto your doll. So one side of the closure onto the back of the bow and the other side onto the back of the shirt. This is totally optional but I decided I want to emphasize the bow back so I just folded in the other sides of the shirt to create triangle shapes on either side. For the skirt, I'm following an old tutorial but giving it a twist by adding a paper bag waistline. I started with a rectangle of fabric that was 12 and 3 quarters inches by my desired length plus room for a hem and a room for a casing. Fold the rectangle in half, right sides together, and sew down the short edge with a quarter inch seam allowance to create a tube. Fold up the bottom about a quarter of an inch and sew to make a hem. Fold over the top about 3 quarters of an inch for the casing. This may vary depending on how wide your elastic is and how much paper bag effect you want. Sew close to the edge going all the way around leaving a gap for the elastic. Then for the paper bag effect, sew a line about a quarter of an inch down from the folded edge and don't leave a gap in this one. If you want more of a paper bag effect, you can sew more down the casing but make sure you still have room for the elastic. Here's what your casing should look like when it's done. The double stitch at the top closest to the fold is optional. I actually just had to do that because I wanted my paper bag effect to go in a little bit deeper. And then the bottom line of stitching from the inside, it should be as close to the raw edge of the casing as it possibly can be. Cut a piece of elastic that is not and a half inches long and feed it through the skirt using a safety pin. When the ends come out, sew them together and then pull them back into the skirt and seal off the hole. Then you're done. Here is the finished ensemble. I love the way it turned out. It's definitely something that's really trendy and really cute for the spring and summer. So anyways guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other American Girl doll videos such as hairstyle videos, outfit videos, and more. And if you recreate this DIY, be sure you tag me on a picture on Instagram so that I can post it in my Instagram story highlight of all the DIY recreations that you guys have done. But yeah, anyways, like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this one and I will talk to you soon in my next video. Bye! Bye!